and I'm here to talk to you about group piano teaching. My name is Dorla Price Aparicio and I love to support group piano teachers, music educators and studio owners with engaging, organized resources that will help you to offer excellent group piano lessons. So our topic today is lesson plans. How do you structure your group piano lesson? Do you change it every week? Do you just follow the method book? Or are you teaching uh, just practical skills or a combination? What are you doing with your lesson plans? So that's what I want to talk about today. And my question is, what if the structure of your lesson plan was basically always the same? So here's my idea. Hello, Katya. How you doing? Thanks for being here. We're talking about uh, group piano lesson planning and how do you structure your, your lessons? And my question again is, what if the structure was always the same? So here's my proposition. Let's always have scales, theory, repertoire introduction, a game, and then a few minutes to catch up or to extend, okay? So with scales, you could um, spend 10 minutes doing scales. Uh, my classes are multi-level, so I have beginners, maybe they're working on just five finger scales. I have others playing one octave scale. I have others doing two octave scales. So when we all play them together, we stack them up together, we can do a chain. There's different things that you can do, but just think, spend the very first 10 minutes of class working on scales, fingering, you can add dynamics. And then after those 10 minutes, everyone's warmed up. Those that are coming in late can join the class and know exactly what to do because we're working on scales always at the beginning. Then theory. Spend another 10 minutes on theory. And when I mean theory, for example, it would be, uh, let's say you're learning chords. Well then the first question could be, what is a chord? And you can explain that um, have an activity for them to work with that and really understand hands-on on the piano what it is to play a chord. You can also have them look at staff paper and build a chord. How do you build a C chord? How do you build an F chord? You can do all of that in 10 minutes. Very quickly, make it very interesting, fast-paced. Then it's time for repertoire. This is where you would introduce your very first um, or your, the new piece for the week. And since our theory was chords, it would be great if the repertoire we're learning for this week was also about playing chords. So whether it be by ear, whether it be um, with uh, chord symbols, uh, whatever you like. It could be written out, but if it goes together with what we did in the theory, stacking up that knowledge to make it understandable to them. You want to spend maybe 20 minutes in repertoire. And that would include the new piece that they're working. They can work on it together when you teach it. Then they can put on their headphones and work on it individually and you walk around the room and make sure that everyone understands. This is not a time to do mini group lessons. I mean, mini private lessons. This is the time to walk around and make sure that everyone is on task and understands what you explained. And maybe you'll spend more time with one student than another, but this is not for you to spend 10 minutes with each kid because you don't have 10 minutes. You've already taught everyone together. Think about a classroom in school. The teacher delivers 
the lecture lecture if it's children you know it's done in a different way but then uh, they might hand out worksheets for them to work on well it's the same in group piano deliver the lesson and then their work time uh, with their headphones on then take them off and let's work out loud together 20 minutes with that then now it's time to go to a game everyone has worked so hard it's time for a game and then I like to choose games that have to do with the theory that I introduced at the beginning of the lesson so our theory game then would be all about chords and actually this is exactly what I just did this week with my students so we had a really cool game um, to build the chords and now I have added another stack of understanding about chords for them that would take about 10 minutes now we have we have 15 minutes of class that have gone by then I still have about five or ten minutes for wiggle room for if something took longer or if we want to go back to the piano and play our song one more time together or the pieces from last week they can, um, if someone wants to play it on the grand piano, play it individually, or we can play it all together. Uh, and that's because in my class, everyone is learning the same song. If they have solo pieces that they are adding to their ensemble pieces, then they can also perform that for the class if they wish. So those 10 minutes are, you know, flexible, whatever you need to do there. And that's an hour of class. Now, the structure that I'm talking about is that we always have those things in place. Sometimes we don't always do them in that order, depending on what's going on. Sometimes we might have to do the game first. Um, but what I'm saying is that I, if you have those four components all the time, then it's easier for you to say, okay, this is what I'm working on, and this is what... Um, my goal is for this particular lesson also working for a long-term goal for your group piano so if you're watching this later on i would love this uh to be um i guess a way for you to comment uh how you structure your lesson there's many ways that we can structure but this um, is the way that I wanted to share with you today. And then if you have a different way that you do it, um, it would be really cool for you to tell us what type of structure you follow in your group piano lessons. I also would like to invite you to visit uh, my website, uh, specifically my blog. There's so many... Um, good ideas that I share there about group piano teaching and it's grouppianoteaching.com and just you can just you know go through there right now I believe every blog post that is on there is specifically for group piano if you have visited before you have, might have seen that there was piano camp and group piano teaching right now it's all group piano teaching um, and the piano camp ones will, will come uh, a little later uh, well a little further down the road in 2021 but um, there's a lot of ideas there about scheduling and about things that you can do when planning your group piano class so thank you for listening I try to be here every Friday to um, give you some ideas about how to you know organize better or create more engaging lesson your group piano lessons um, if you have any questions put them in the comments my name is Dorla Price Aparicio and I'll see you next Friday to talk more about group piano teaching bye bye